what's this money going towards? A few things. One is being able to grow internationally. We already have a huge footprint internationally. 192 countries have customers using Asana, but there's a huge opportunity. The market's pretty greenfield in terms of being able to enable more teams to be able to work together easily. Second is more enterprise growth and expansion into more verticals. We see adoption across basically every industry and function, but there's even more we can do there. So what sets you apart from the other workplace collaboration apps, whether it's Slack or Trello or Facebook and Microsoft, the giants trying to get into this space? We've seen that companies need three pieces of software in order to be able to collaborate effectively. There's messaging, which is things like Slack. There's files, which is things like Google Drive and Dropbox. But even if you have both of those, there's this enormous gap that is left around work management, around actually knowing who is doing what by when, and having the clarity that you need in order to be able to have responsibility tracked well, to, for everyone to know what the plan is. So work tracking is this huge emerging market that Asana is leading. So you're focused on calendaring? And scheduling? No, it's more like if you go into the average organization yeah. and you say, okay, what are all the steps left between now and accomplishing your goal? Who's responsible for each of those steps? What's the status of each thing? Mm -hmm. Really basic things to be able to manage any sort of project. People won't have answers to those questions. And so they spend an enormous amount of time on email and meetings and chats and status updates and status meetings, all this work about work just to get everyone on the same page. And so what Asana does is it gives everyone that clean same page so that everyone can see here's exactly what needs to happen. And when we've asked customers, how much more effective do you think you are with this piece of software than you were before, customers report an average of a 45% improvement in what they're able to accomplish, which just seems like a staggering improvement to, to the kinds of things that people can do. It's interesting. We often talk about whether certain businesses are a zero-sum game here, and I know, you know not all businesses are, but you know, obviously Facebook became a monopoly in its field. Google became a monopoly in its field. You know, what makes you think there's room for all of these different workplace collaboration apps um, when we're already app overloaded? <laughs> I think within each vertical, you will see a lot of consolidation. There's, there, there is going to be consolidation within messaging, within files, and within work management. But all those tools work really symbiotically. Slack is actually a customer of Asana's, and Asana a customer of Slack's, and we partner well together. All those co companies partner well together. Within work management, I think you will see the emergence of, of a single leader. And I think we are already very well positioned to become that, that category leader, that category king, as a result of that among all of those work management systems, we're the only piece of software that is both easy and powerful. You'll see things like, like Trello that you mentioned that very easy to get started, but there's no way that you can scale to a large organization. Or you'll see clunky enterprise software that's so hard to use, people don't use it. And the result is we've seen that for companies of so many different industries, whether that's from NASA to National Geographic, from Navy Federal Credit Union to General Electric, or nonprofits like Teach for America, or even governments like, the Pro like Providence, Rhode Island, they're all being able to adopt Asana because every single organization has real needs around being able to work together more effectively. And are you actually trying to decrease notifications? Yeah, a lot of the notifications is this kind of constant, continuous, partial attention that you get into where you can't, you can't get into flow, you can't get into focus because someone just sent you a message or someone just emailed you. Email becomes someone else's to-do list. It's just showing you whatever someone happened to most recently message you. Whereas to be maximally focused, maximally in flow to get the most done, you want to have clarity on what are all the things that I need to accomplish? What am I responsible for in priority order? So Asana turns that notification paradigm on its head and just shows you calmly, here's all the things that you need to do in the right order so you can mindfully proceed in your work. The uh, overwhelming nature of notifications is in part a symptom of you know, this company that you are integral uh, to, to, Facebook, which is now under fire for fake news, for being addictive. What, what's your perspective on that? and Facebook's responsibility. I'm really glad that as a culture, we're finally having this important conversation about what role do we want technology to play in our lives. But I think people often oversimplify to technology's all good or technology's all evil. When I think it's really that technologists have a core responsibility to design software mindfully, to think how can I maximize, how can we maximize the amount of good that it's doing and minimize the amount of harm. And so that's something we've been focused on in Asana from day one is how can we allow people to really align their attention with their intention. And I hope that all software developers around the world are thinking about that more and more. Well, it's interesting because you know we were talking about Facebook's earnings earlier, and they're actually doing things that they feel are better for users, but decreased time spent on Facebook. Is that treading a, is that, are they getting onto thin ice, or is that something that they should be doing? 
by making those decisions. I think if you're truly a mission-oriented company, then money is, for when Generation gave you know, the, the new round of fundraising we just did, I think of it as that the point of building rockets is not to have a lot of rocket fuel, just as the point of building businesses is not to have a lot of money. Money is the fuel you need to accomplish your mission. Mm. And so the more, the more that you actually care about your mission, the more important it is to focus on what's good for users. I feel really fortunate at Asana that our mission and our business model are so well aligned, mm. and that the more that people derive value from Asana, the more they directly pay us. And so to be able to see that you know, in, the, in just the last year, we've had this 80% okay. increase of revenue, I think demonstrates that kind of value increase.